What is going on you guys? This is Andrew Lobato here and today I will be doing a commentary slash reaction video on some more childish dad videos since why not because it's been a, it's been a while since I last done these especially because of how busy my month was in December because I was on vacation and also I was waiting on a new camera which I'm using finally and it can record longer than the temporary one I had which can only do 10 minute videos why that one will be my secondary camera it'll be used for shorter videos so yeah but anyways i will be reacting to these videos by the real random wazzy which i will be reacting to four of the videos and this for this video and uh the ones i'll be reacting to are the ones that have been uploaded most recently because i know there's been a couple uploaded recently which the first one I'm reacting to, I will be reacting to, is Childish Dad Steals a Tank. And this is the latest one to be uploaded, the most recent. So anyways, without further ado, on to the video. Um, what a beautiful day it is today. I think I might it is a beautiful day. Because after all, Catherine did say that fresh air is good for you. That's true, Dave. Fresh air is good for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That's Ooh, nice tank. Wow. Why thanks, little man. That's a I nice tank. Look at that. To buy this beast, and believe me, it was worth it. That's so awesome. The hey, thing's, that thing is a beast. Look at that. I have always wanted to drive a tank. Forget it, Kalu. You are way too young to be. Oh, I think I know what Dave's doing. <laughs> and besides, he would probably be reckless. I hate to say this, but. Oh, but Dave just stole the tank. <laughs> It was Dave who stole that. <laughs> cannot be serious. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> my tank, my most prized possession, that I spent five years saving up for is gone. Some even person stole it. Now I am mad. Well, they are not going to get away with this. Uh, when on earth has that man got to? I swear if he's getting up to some kind of shenanigans, then I am going to be very annoyed. Oh, you're hey, going mom, to be Catherine when you... Okay? Oh, you're going to be annoyed, Catherine, when you... Find out that Dave drives a tank up to the driveway. <laughs> hey, you sound a little annoyed. Is it Dad again? Is he being an idiot? I don't know, but I reckon he is. Because he isn't here right now and I can't seem to find him anywhere. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry, I had to, I had to adjust the camera because it didn't show the full entrance of Emma, so I do apologize for that. He just went for a walk or something. At least he's doing something besides throwing a tantrum because well, he can't he is go doing something. the peanut so butter. Good. Dave just came home in a tank. <laughs> Dave is hilarious. <laughs> Dave Johnny Johnson, just where on earth did you get the tank from? You clearly stole it. <laughs> you didn't steal it, did you? Because those things cost a fortune and I know you don't have the money for one. That is true, Catherine. Uh, tanks do cost a fortune. They usually with tanks and any type of military vehicle costs over like a bill around like billions and billions of dollars. I um, found it. Play. Really? That's Did you tag. find it? I'm sorry, but who are you? Why, I am the owner of that bank right there. Well, you and clearly I'm are. Sitting in my bank, your husband. Yes, I'm afraid so. Well, man. Your husband right there stole this tank from me. And like <laughs> he clearly did. Now. Otherwise, I will have no choice but to call the police. Ugh, I am so sorry about what my husband did. Don't worry. I will make sure that he gives it back to you. Please All do. Right, Dave, you have your fun. Now it's time to give this tank back to its rightful owner. Please do. No, I don't want to. I want to keep this tank. It is my tank now. I want to keep the no, tank. It isn't. It's mine, and you stole it from me. I would like to have it back, please. Do you have any idea how long it took me to save up for that? Five, Five years. years. Oh, shut up, you fat bloater. <laughs> fat <laughs> bloater. <laughs> how long it took you to save up? I now claim ownership of this tent. <laughs> yeah, right. Dave, stop 
Stop it! Just stop it! <laughs> that is not your time. Stop! It belongs to this man right here, so you better give it back right now, mister. Well, you're very scary when you yell at me. <laughs> you would title Karen. Well, basically, his mother was clumsy and she dropped him on his head when he was a baby. And that is true. It slowed down his brain development, which results in him acting childish. Oh, I see. And I don't care. This does not excuse what your husband did, and I have had enough. All right, buddy. You got two choices. Either you get out of my tank now, or I will drag you out of it myself. No. Please don't drag me out. I don't <laughs> want to give this tank back one. Please do drag him out, because that makes it funny. <laughs> Please do. Forget about this whole thing. Sheesh. Also, Sheesh is if right. you don't give me my tank back, then I will get the cops here, and they will take you to jail, and you will be put in a cell with the big, scary criminals. Oh, no. I don't want that. Okay, fine. You can have your gun tent back, you fat blood. There we go. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Well, now that is all over with. I will be on my way now. All right. And once again, I am so, so sorry for what my husband did. I will make sure that he doesn't pull a stunt like this again. You have my word. All right. See you in the video. Next video I'm going to be reacting to. Oh, oh, great. We get a stupid advertisement again. I do apologize. Oh, sorry. I do apologize for the ad. Oh, wait, we can skip it. Perfect. Okay, next video I'm reacting to is Childish Dad Thinks There's a Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> that reminds me of that video where, um, a girl, a girl got her wisdom teeth taken out and both of her brothers pranked her, pulled a prank on her into thinking there was a zombie apocalypse. Oh my god, that video was hilarious. <laughs> I do apologize for taking forever to load because the Wi-Fi up in my bedroom tends to be spotty at times. Like, it's hit or miss all the time. Bear with me, everyone. Let me see. Am I on the right signal? I gotta take a look. Yep, I am. Sorry, I had to check to make sure my signal was the right one. I switch between like three different Wi-Fi's every time I'm using this laptop because the Wi-Fi is always hit or mess up, hit or mess up here. Come on, you stupid computer! There we go. Now it's working. Okay, so I guess switching Wi-Fi's worked after all. Oh, he's watching Barney. Classic. <laughs> I love Barney the dinosaur. Barney the dinosaur. Sounds like a meat. He would be his best friend forever and ever. Hey. Ooh. Got a power on. Darkness all of a sudden. What? Get up here. Darkness has descended upon us. Darkness has descended upon us. What? It's probably just a park cut or something. That is true. It will be back on soon. No. That is true. It's, it's probably just a power, power outage. It's the end of the world. I think it's all. It's not the end of the world. All the zombies <laughs> have chewed the electric cables. Hence why the power has the gone. The zombies. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, Dave! There is no such thing as zombies, <laughs> and I'm sure the power going out doesn't have anything to do with the world ending. There's clearly a problem over at the power plant or something, but I'm sure they'll fix it soon. So just relax, yeah. Hey, what is going on? Me and Emma were in the middle of playing Minecraft and the power went out. Is it zombie apocalypse? There's a zombie the apocalypse. Invasion. The end of the world is coming, kids. Don't listen to your father, oh, kids. <laughs> he is just talking nonsense. We're just having a power cut, that's all. Oh, right. So dad is talking nonsense. Yeah, pretty exactly. much. So don't pay any attention to him and his silly nonsense about the zombies. Hey. I'll have you know that I am not talking nonsense. A power cut is clearly <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> something bad is happening, and I believe it's a zombie of the collars. Well, if you're not going to do something about it, then I guess I'll have to. No zombies are gonna eat my brains tonight. Oh, for goodness sake, Dave, where are you going? Oh my god. Oh my what god. What is he doing with that spiked bat? He has a spiked oh, bat knife. I'm going to fight off the zombies and protect this family. <laughs> Oh, please do fight oh, off the back. zombies. Oh, my life. <laughs> Give me strength for crying out loud. All right, you zombie freaks. Come 
Tokyo right now and place your impending duty. For I, Dave the Great, shall destroy you all. You will all perish by my hands. You will all perish. Bad time. So, come out and face me, you undead cowards. Dave, stop it. Redneck stop cowards. It. Complete fool of yourself just and come inside. It. We are not having a zombie apocalypse. It's just a power cut. That's all. But Catherine, I saw something on the TV where this whole city had a power cut and then all these zombies started walking around and eating everyone's brains. Ugh. Ugh, Dave, that was just a TV show in a video game. Zombies only exist in TV shows and video games. They don't exist in real life. Also, if they were to exist, we would have to be prepared to stop them with like a bunch of weapons and stuff. And I actually read a How, a sur a how to Survive Anything book. I actually read a story in a How to Survive Anything book called How to Survive like Zombie, Inv a zombie Invasion. Or Apocalypse, whatever you want to call it. And one of the best ways to kill a zombie is to like... Um, I'm trying to think. Whack it is if you smack it in the head really hard with a baseball bat. Or if you have a gun on you, you can like shh, blow its head off. It's pretty much the best way to do it in video games. That was a zombie movie, Davey, Dunderhead. It was Dunderhead. <laughs> now, stop acting like such a moron. Put the spikes back down and Dave is a moron. <laughs> Not until I fend off all the zombies. That may have been a movie, but that doesn't mean that zombie apocalypse can't happen in real life, and that power cut is a sign. <laughs> oh no. It started. There's one coming into the yard right now. Oh my Place god. Yourself, Excuse me. Dave, that's just a homeless man. But I am homeless and hungry. Would you be so kind as to spare me a bed and some food for the night? No. Back zombie back. It will not hit my brains or anyone in this family's brains. <laughs> Get out of here or else I will be forced to unleash my weapon on you. Oh, for goodness sake, Abe. That wasn't a zombie. That was clearly a homeless That's just man. a homeless person. That's not a zombie. You think. These zombies are very clever and will use any means to trick the victims so they can eat their brains. Yeah, right. Oh, excuse me. I must put out some plants that will help protect the house from the zombies. I'll be right back. Yeah, right. Uh, like in Plants vs. Zombies. Up. Like in the Plants vs. Zombies video game. Ugh, stupid advertisement. Next video I'm reacting to is Childish Dad Gets Bullied at the Gym. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Dave, the kids have just left the school, so what are your plans for today? Well, I was thinking of maybe hitting the gym and working out for a few hours. That's good oh, to hear. I see. Well, that's quite surprising. I would have thought that you would have wanted to watch Barney and Friends all day or something. Well, as much as I like watching Barney and Friends, it does get kind of boring sitting around the house all day doing nothing. Yeah, that is true. So it does get boring after a while. I would do something different. So anyway, what do you have planned for today? Well, I was planning on having a girly day out with a couple of my friends. Uh, sounds fun. Yes, it does. But anyway, I'd better go and meet them. So, have fun at the gym and if you have any problems, then just call me. Okay, see you later. Alright. I'll see you later, Catherine, and if any big boys give me any hassle, then I'll call you. Well, guess I'd better take my beefcake self to the gym where I can work out to get more <laughs> beefcake. beefcake. <laughs> Yay. I have finally made it to the gym. Now I can Anytime work out fitness. Gym that looks more. like a good gym. It's a nice gym to go to. Alright, now which should I do first? There are so many different options to choose from that it's kind of hard to decide where to start. I guess I could start out something simple at first and then work my way up slowly but surely. That's usually what I do when I go to the gym. I just start something simple and then work my way up. Well, 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 Nicole, we have here, Terry. Oh, hello. Can I help you, fellas? Aren't you that childish that, that everyone in this town talks about? Hey, that is not my name. My name is Dave. You guys are being a pair of jerks. Yep, this is him, alright. This is the infamous childish dad. Wow, I don't know I was seeing him in person, but my wife knows that. She said she saw him in the supermarket just the other week, and he was throwing a tantrum. That Wait, is true, he seriously? did. That yeah. is true, he did throw a tantrum in the supermarket in one of the videos. Yeah, he wanted to buy a video game or something, but his wife said no, because the game he wanted was one for preschoolers, so he threw himself one for the floor and threw a tantrum. Okay. <laughs> Break. I really wanted that video game. What are you even doing here anyway? This place isn't for the likes of you. 
Yeah, give him a break, yeah. guys. This place is only for real men, not big stupid cry babies who throw tantrums because they can't have something there to hold for. Okay, well, that is uh, mean. Yeah, you guys are being really mean. You're a pair of mealy knee stink faces and your breath smells like smelly poo poo water. I'm smelly poo poo. <laughs> your breath smells like that. <laughs> Boo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, did we make you cry? Are you Sorry, I can't help but laugh at this part. <laughs> Stop it. Stop being mean. I didn't do anything to you. I only came here to do some working out. Exactly, like we always do at a gym. For faces like yourselves. Warm. Wow! Is that the best insult you can come up with? You're such a loser. Really? Yeah, that is the best the insult? insult we have ever heard. Well, and there goes Dave. <laughs> hey, cry baby. Where are you going? <laughs> we haven't finished with you yet. So, ladies, where do you fancy going after this? Oh, I know. We can't go check out that new clothing store that opened up in the high street. I heard that they sell really nice clothes there, and I need a new outfit. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! It's Dave. What does he want? What does he want? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is the funniest ringtone I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Ugh, that's Dave, right on cue. Do you girls mind if I take this? No, not at all. Yes, Dave, what is it now? Catherine, can you please come and pick me up from the gym? Two big mean men are bullying me and they're being really mean. What? Over crying out loud, Dave. Well, you're a big beefcake. Can't you just stand up to them? No. They're a lot bigger and more beefcake than I am. Please. Come I'm pretty sure all three of you are beefcakes. But Dave, I'm spending time with my friends. Can't you just walk home by yourself or something? No, I'm scared that they'll follow me. Please, Catherine, I am backing you. Yeah, please, please help Dave, me, Catherine. He is your husband. Oh my god. Oh my Fine. god. Thanks a lot for <laughs> That's one of my favorite so lines from Catherine. Way. I'm sorry, ladies, but I'm gonna have to go. Dave is having some trouble at the gym, and I need to go and pick him up. Oh, that's quite all right. Yeah, we can always have our girly day out some other time. Thank you so much for your understanding. Well, I'd better go now and see what's happening with Dave. Oh, isn't that adorable? The crybaby is calling his wife to come and save him. Oh, yeah, that's just how me. sweet. Does the childish dad want his wife to come to his rescue and save him from the big mean man? Shut up. Shut up and leave me alone, wife. Like it. Yeah, yeah please leave me alone. Uh, Alright, Dave, what is going on here? Well, Catherine, thank goodness, you have come to save me. These two big stupid men were being really mean to me, wife. Oh, shit. Is this your wife? Oh, wow. She looks like more of a bitch than I imagined her to be. Wow. Excuse me. Is that the best insult you can come up with? But what did you say? Oh, don't flatter yourself, sweet cheek. Besides, what are you doing with an oversized man child like him? Oversized yeah, man child? The real man. Now you just listen here, you pair of no good low lives. My husband oh, may be childish, <laughs> but aside from all that, he is a good, decent person and a great dad. Also, he cannot help the way he is, and you shouldn't bully someone over something they cannot help. You're both scum and should be ashamed of yourselves. Now, piss off. Well, Catherine, that it's one of the few one of the few videos where we actually see Catherine stand up for Dave. It's like one of the first ones I've ever seen. That was amazing. Well, someone needed to put them in their place. No exactly. One someone needed to put them in their place. away with it. Alright. Ah, stupid advertisements. Alright, last video I'm gonna be reacting to is Childish Dad doesn't want to get out of the pool. I'm gonna fix the brightness again. I had I'd adjust in the last video slightly, I do apologize for that. So yeah. Just because it looked a little bright. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. Clearly, because clearly you are having too much fun. Now, so I think it's time that you come out and have some dinner. I promise that you can go back in an hour yard for you. No, I don't want to come out of the pool. I want to stay up here until I decide to come out your control freak. 
control freak. <laughs> Wah. Oh wow, Dave Splash and Catherine. <laughs> wah, wah. Stop it. Stop it. Please stop splashing me for crying out loud. I'm getting soaked here, you lunatic. Lunatic. No. Catherine's got the funniest insult. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, Abe. Will it not kill you to just come out for an hour at least? Yeah, will it not kill you? You need to eat, and you can go back in once you've eaten, but not straight away, because you're not supposed to swim straight away after eating. That's true, because that's true because it could give you a cramp. You could get cramps after that. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I am not having you eating food in the cool and that is my final answer. Oh, but why? Exactly. Why are you forbidding me from eating food in the pool, you cruel fish? Because, Dave, if you eat food in the pool, it will get wet and soppy, and trust me, I don't think food is going to taste very nice. Yeah, exactly. F food tastes, food would taste terrible water because it'd be all soggy and disgusting. Fucking. Okay. Not to mention, if you have a drink and spill it in the pool, it would contaminate it, and then and then the whole water would turn a different color. <laughs> and that would be funny, actually. <laughs> I want to eat my food in the pool. <laughs> that's that's one of the funniest insults from Dave. <laughs> Real mature, Dave. Real mature, Dave. That is probably the most creative insult that you have probably come up with. <laughs> that is the most creative insult I've ever heard from Dave. <laughs> hey, Mom. Is everything okay out here? Oh, everything's fine, children. Just your father throwing a tantrum again because As he usual, he throws tantrums. Oh, God. How embarrassing. Yeah, how There's embarrassing is that? <laughs> embarrassing but funny at the same time. <laughs> Such a fuss over the stupidest things. He is acting like such a big baby. Big baby. <laughs> hey, I am not a big baby. I am a grown man. You clearly are strong, acting like a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave Johnny Johnson, grown men don't throw tantrums over pathetic reasons and cry like babies. That exactly. is how a grown man behaves. I swear, we need to get you seen to because this behavior is totally getting out of hand. Yeah, not to mention it is very embarrassing. Yeah, totally embarrassing. It's we're totally embarrassing. We're more mature than you are, and we are only 12 and 10 years old, for goodness sake. Now for the last time, Dave, are you going to come out? Sorry, I had to adjust my camera again, because it, it was out of frame, so I do apologize. No, 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 That's actually true. You'll be all wrinkly if you're in the water for a long period of time. It's right, Dave. If you stay in there for too much longer, then you will turn into an old man. Exactly. So, it's your choice. Either you come out for a little while and have some lunch, or stay in there and wrinkle up like a prune. Oh, man. I don't want to wrinkle up like a prune and turn into an old man. All right, Dwayne, I'll come out for a little while. But please, can I go back and later today at least? Okay, fine. But I want you out by that time. No arguments. Do I make myself clear? Yes, wife. Crystal clear. Okay, good. Now, get out. Goodness me. All this fuss just because Mum wanted you to come out of the pool for about an hour or two. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, that's totally embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the videos. Alright, hope you enjoyed this hilarious childish data commentary slash reaction videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.